Hello, everyone, and welcome to EGFH Season 1 Semifinals for Overwatch. Today we got the Notre Dame Green Knights, that's Team 1 over on the left side, and we got the Ludlow Falcons, Team 2, over on the right side. We are on... Uh, we are on Eichenwald today. First of all, I want to thank our sponsors, the Yukon Gaming Club, the Yukon School of Engineering, HyperX, and Controller Chaos for making all of this possible. My name is Roro, and we are on Eichenwald. All right. So it looks like... Um, so it looks like Team 1, the, the Nerd Name Green Knights. They've got a pretty solid lineup. We have Alex, who is a Widowmaker main, the Master's Widowmaker main. We'll have to see if he can hold these long sight lines. Right now, he's going to be on the McCree. we got Nerdy on the Moira, D-Boy on the Junkrat, Haru on the Roadhog. So it looks like they're going to be going for a shield break composition. This first point is very hard to hold without a shield. Let's see if Monk and Ray is uh, tag along with their team's shot calling. Linus on the Symmetra. I'm probably getting trolled right now. Bacon Pie on the Bastion. Fruity Memes on the Widow as well. Doesn't look like a very serious composition right now, but now... Let's see what the Green Knights come up with. Looks like they're being a little more serious about this. We got Reyes on the Orisa and Monk on the Zenyatta. So that's a lot of shield break, a lot of damage on the on the side of the Green Knights. And over on the Falcons, uh, they still haven't swapped their picks yet. So, so let's take a look at the Green Knights for now. Uh, D Boy on the Drunk Rat. Let's see where he puts his trap. Maybe someone will get caught up in it. Haru on the Roadhog. It's hey. going to be able to land a lot of great damage with that alternate Good fire. Just choke over over at the very front of the points. It's just so hard to get through. They did recently put in a side path that allows the attackers to flank. But it's, <laughs> given the attacks, uh, it's Torb and Symmetra, I don't think they'll be able to do much with that. <laughs> right, now Linus is switching over to the Genji. Let's see what Big and Pie and Stevek switch over to. Glacier also, unless he wants to go with the theme of the May and the Ice. Nope, he will be switching over to... I'm sorry, they will be switching over to Lucio and Moira and a Ryan Zarya composition. Looks like they're still going to stick it out with the Bastion, however, which uh, we'll have to see how that pays off. There's That's the... That's probably the great best shield breaking composition right there. Okay, Big and Pie will be switching over to the... To the Roadhog. Uh, slight call for a pause, but never mind. Oh, no, and now, and now, and now, I said never mind again. So right now we have Reaper, Roadhog, uh, we have Triple Tank coming out of the Falcons, and then uh, with a Reaper to supplement it. Looks like they just want to sit down on the points, just run in with the Lucio, have Moira soaking everybody with heals, while the Reaper just does a lot of work. It looks like it looks like the this is a pretty good attack composition for the Falcons, but on the other hand, will they be able to get close enough with D Boy on the road, uh, Junkrat, Haru on the Roadhog, and Alex with the the flashbang on the McCree? We won't find out until this game is unpaused. Uh, we'll be taking a quick break while we wait for all these technical issues. And we're back. Here we are. The the Green Knights are still trying to group up. Or no, the, excuse me. The Falcons are going to group up. They get sucked in by the Orisa. No hook yet. That Philanisite was broken. And now this shield is going to go down quickly. Orisa puts down another one. But now the, the Falcons are going to rush onto the point. Steve X sitting on the point. Bacon Pie lands a hook on Alex, but unable to get the kill onto that. And that right now, Steve X is going ham on this back line, swinging left and right. Linus able to get the pick on the monk, and Haru is able to take down Sharples. That's no charge for you. No graviton. But Lin is getting a 3 k on this point right now and the green knights looks like they're going to be holding actually haru just going off landing a couple hooks here and there to two picks on the finish it off and lineth just the last straggler on the point gonna try to get his last kill on the d-boy and he gets the pick lin is sitting on the point one-on-one -on -one versus haru gets uh, gets his ultimate up already and haru is going to pop that whole hog gonna push the rest of the attackers off the point maybe the rest of the attackers have come back and able to land another great hook on the glacier 
And right now, Stevek is going to be swinging around on the point once again. Mortar ult coming out from Pretty Mean is going to keep Stevek alive. But now Alex is going to land that whole, the pop that high noon and gonna get taken out by bacon pie immediately the the rip tire coming out but not able to get much done from d-boy now haru just going going to town on this team lin is finally able to take him down taking down nerdy as well but now lin is just gonna be going ham on this arisa no he will not reyes will instead put his ult down and get that plus 30 percent damage steve charging back on the point the only one contesting besides glacier and she's going to solo out the Marissa while she is in that unstoppable phase. That's going to be a little bit of a waste there. But now the Mora for the for the uh, Green Knights will be popping her ultimate. B Bacon Pie getting a pick onto Alex and then popping the whole hog onto D Boy, taking down D Boy and Monk with that ultimate. It's a good good stall coming out from the Green Knights. Last one on the point, nerdy with the Moira phase, unable to hold it. So right now we have Alex switching over to the Widowmaker for the second phase. And it looks like uh, Linus will be switching over to the Genji, Steve X onto the, onto the Winston, and Schnarkles onto the Diva. So they're going to be switching to a full dive for the second street phase, Falcons. Whereas, uh, looks like looks like the Green Knights are content to kind of hold the same composition, just Alex switching to the Widowmaker for those long sight lines. Hopefully get a pick. We'll see how much space Alex gets from the rest of his team. Hopefully the dive can be diverted off of him. Steve X is going to be jumping in onto the Orisa. Ray is going to pop that uh, anti-damage. And now Fruity Memes will be pulling out the Orisa Coalescence. Unable, uh, looks like, uh, looks like Glacier had to pop that sound barrier, but was taken down in the middle of it. Now Linus and Steve X is going to town on the rest of his team. Haru getting another pick. That's the sixth of the game or something like that. He's just going off this game. Schnarples and Steve X going to finish up the rest of this team as Haru runs away. Alex switching over to Tw Tracer now. It looks like he decided the Widowmaker was not going to work against this dive comp. And now it looks like the rest of uh, the Falcons are going to be pushing up into the spawn of the Green Knights. But they're going to get punished for that. Haru's going to take down Steve Ek and the mech of Strumples while Reyes takes down Strumples himself. Now they're going to go for the contest. It's uh, 6 before at this point. The so D-Boy's going to take down Fruity Memes and the rest of the, the Falcons will go down. Now they did get to push the payload very far, the Falcons. So we'll have to see what they can do with this Dragon Blade and Steve Ek's Primal Rage soon. Nerdy has the Coalescence, but unfortunately, it looks like... Looks like there's not much in the... Actually, no. Monk is able to get his uh, Transcendence just now, so that they do have counterplay for that Dragon Blade. D-Boy is going to be peeling away using both his minds. Still going to be raining death onto this uh, the attacking team, the Falcons. And Steve X is going to jump, hop into the back line, pop that Primal Rage, and then Haru is going to pop that whole hog. But it forces the uh, tr Transcendence out of Monk. Self-Destruct coming out for Starfalls. Huge Self-Destruct, taking out both supports from the Green Knights. The, but D-Boy's gonna pop that uh, Rip Tire, see what he can get done with it, and he runs into nobody because uh, everybody died. Hiya. Bacon Pie is still going to be shooting some grenades at the point. There's, and Glacier's trying to run out, he's very low right now, but now, oh, Alex gonna waste that Pulse Bomb. Uh, trying to just 1v1-ing uh, Bacon Pie right now, but unable to finish the deal. Steve X is going to jump onto the point. And now Linus is going to drop that Dragon Blade. Takes down D-Boy, but Reyes takes down Steve X with the self-destruct. Bacon Pie's, uh, Bacon Pie has the Rip Tire coming in, taking down Nerdy. And now Glacier is going to pop that sound barrier. Finally able to take take this fight. And now Linus driving the back line. Gets taken down by Monk. Great shooting coming out of Monk. Right now they have... The Falcons have four on point, and it looks like Alex, D-Boy, Monk, and Nerdy need to pull it together, or else they won't be able to contest this final fight. Uh, Monk able to take down another Steve Ek, paying for uh, pushing up that close, taking down Fruity Means as well, but Schnarfel's finally able to take him down. But it looks like the Green Knights will finally be able to push this point off, despite going down three very early in that last fight. Right now, Haru is just going to be cleaning up these people. Alex taking down Bacon Pie, and we are looking at a very, very strongly favored defensive hold, uh, defensive position for the Green Knights, as they do have a lot of ultimates coming up. Uh, the only ultimates on the side of the Falcons right now are the Diva ults and very close to the Genji ults, but otherwise, no defensive options for the.
for the Falcons. We'll see what they can do with this last contest. 15 seconds left on the clock. Travel's gonna dive into the back line, popping that self-destruct. Not able to get much from it, but it's okay because uh, actually no, Reyes is able to take that Shrapples before he can re uh, Monk's going to pop that Transcendence in response, but he falls off to Steve X for Primal Rage. That's not that's not what you want. Unless you're able to take that nerdy with the sound, the, with the boop. And right now the the Falcons it's not looking great. Self destruct coming down onto the cart. D boy taking down Steve X with the Rip Tire. The Self destruct not able really to get much, but it does zone Steve X over to the side. Lin is taking, taking down by Harvey with Primal Rage, and Nicole Lest is coming out from Nerdy. Just just clean up at this point. Booped off. And that is a good hold coming out from the, uh, the Green Knights. Score. Zero to one. Switching sides. I think it was pretty huge that Monk got booped off during his transcendence, but still the Green Knights were able to hold. And I, I think, I think if they had maybe if uh, the Falcons had maybe capitalized on that a little better, Linus was popping that Dragon Blade and, and I didn't get many kills for it. So now on this offense, the Green Knights will be going for a full dive with Moira, the D boy switching off his DPS role onto Winston. Ray is going to be on the Diva, Nerdy on the Moira once again, but Monk will be on the Lucio this time, just to help the dive out and speed everyone up. On the Falcons, we have Linus and Bacon Pie on on DPS. Uh, looks like Linus will be opting for the McCree actually, which it looks like they're trying to just hunker down behind Arissa Shield, Steve X Arissa Shield, and hope that their counter dive works better. <laughs> Where will the Falcons be setting up? That is the biggest question. It looks like they're setting up more towards the point. Not going to quite hold the, the arch. Just far back enough that a dive would probably take a lot of damage. This is a very long pathway for the dive to have to run in. Whereas... I think, I think with the speed boost from Monk, however, they will be able to dive into this Arissa shield without taking too much damage. We'll have to see if Schnarfels can oh, deflect the, the dive at all with his hook, or yes, Lineth will be able to flashbang. Well, it's, it's overall just a test to see who can focus fire better and, who, uh, and whoever can catch the other team out of position. Alright, we have the Green Knights coming out for their attack. We're going to scout out the area. They're going to see the, the very far back position. And Monk will be popping that speed boost. And they're going to run into the left side. Once again, taking the same route. Alex is able to take down Bacon Pie, however. That's a big source of damage gone already. And now it's, it looks like Reyes will be going in also. D-Boy. D-Boy taken down by Steve Ek, But Reyes taking down Steve Ek in return. Haru taking down Glacier in the back line. Able to jump into the back. And now it looks like Lineth will be taken down as well. This this counter dive not going as well for the Falcons as they would have hoped. And I think I think the the, the entire the, the crux of that attack was Alex taking down Bacon Pot is so early on on that tracer. Right now the payload will be moving for the Green Knights. And D-Boy will be taking up the high ground position. Falls off unfortunately. Might get focused down here. He's very low. Bacon Pie's gonna run up to him and finish him off. Right now, the Dragon Blade coming out from Haru. Uh, he gets caught, unfortunately, and, ba and uh, Linus will be able to flatten down the flashbang, and then he gets DPS down. Uh, right now, Alex is taking down Linus. Reyes is gonna take down Fruity Memes. Right now, there's, there's so many picks going on on both sides. So, but it looks like Steve Ek will be holding up close. The Pulse Bomb coming out from Alex, going on to Steve Ek, but he's able to put the Halt up, taking half damage. And now the Self Destruct coming out, except everybody goes down right before it goes off. D-Boy and Alex able to finish this fight. Right now it looks like they're going into the castle, trying to contest for a high ground. But they're still waiting on Steve Ek to come back on that Orisa. Right now, the Ver Mercy Valk and uh, Coalescence in on play for both teams. Coalesce is going to come out from Nerdy. He's going to pierce a lot of shields with that, but now the Arisa is going to come out along with the uh, Valkyrie and the Whole Hog. So much damage coming out, but Haru is able to reflect Linus' dead eye. It's a huge zoning ult. But now the Pulse Bunker on for Alex is going to deny that res. Not deny the res, but take down the Val Valkyrie Mercy. And now Nerdy will take down Glacier and Bacon Pie. 
take out Nerdy in return. However, the Green Knights going to be coming out on top, popping that Dragon Blade to finish off whoever is coming, and the Green Knights will win that round. Play of the game. Experience nothingness. No. <laughs> Nerf this. Double kill. So it's very surprising that the play of the game didn't choose Snarple's ultimate for that. Epic. Impeccable. Legendary. Do not underestimate me. A lot of good healing coming out from Fruity Memes that those coalescences did a lot of work there. But unfortunately, looks like the Green Knights will come out on top. Alright, so the next map will be Nepal. We saw a very good dive coming out of Green Knights, and perhaps they'll probably just run that again. On the other hand, if it is the Sanctum map, it, we will we might see the counter dive coming out again from the Falcons. Uh, did not work out for them, but I, I'm just going to slate that off to Alex being able to pick off Bacon Pie so early in that fight. The Reaper was a huge source of damage and honestly was was stuffing D-Boy every time he tried to jump in un un unless B Bacon Pie wasn't there, which... Uh, we'll we'll just have to see what goes on if Alex can carry hard enough. Not saying he's the sole carry, of course, but that that did win them the fight. We're going to cut to a quick break as we get things set up for map two.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back from that brief little break. We are in to gonna get into map two of our semifinal game here in EGFH season one Overwatch. Mm-hmm. Notre Dame took game one, and they're looking to punch their ticket to the finals. It's so close. And guys, my name is Victor Vic Sharp Watney, and joining me, as always, he did a wonderful job in map one solo. Ro- I'm not. Even, I'm gonna roll your R's if I say your name. Ah, uh, that's all right. Just call me Roro. But yeah, Roro, you know, I missed it. I was watching as a, as a spectator for game one, but Notre Dame came out with some fire. The Green Knights are ready to play. Right, and I was I was pretty impressed by the dive that came out from the, from the Green Knights. They were able to just kind of jump in, put a lot of pressure on to, onto the Falcons. And even if it was like onto their front line, it split the team in half, and that let Alex do a lot of work on that tracer. Absolutely, and now we're moving on to Nepal. It'll be very interesting to see what adaptation Ludlow hasn't been in this situation yet in this playoffs you know they haven't been the one with their backs against the wall with their season on the line can they adapt what do they need to do right and it looks like they're it looks like the falcons are going for a counter dive once again they're probably expecting d-boy on the winston and alex on the tracer and Bacon pie on the Reaper once again. I would I would hope that they would run the McCree maybe or okay, it looks like Lineth was thinking about choosing the McCree, but we'll opt to choose the Reaper instead. Yeah, and the thing, Lineth, this has definitely been the hero that when he's decided, oh, the backpack's opening, it's been on this Reaper that he's tried to make it work on. I'm not sure if it's gonna work against the Green Knights here. It's gonna be close. This is a good point to run against the Farah, so ooh, Reyes. Right, and now we'll have the Falcons sitting on the point with the, with that Arissa shield. Far Mercy's gonna go far is gonna go down to Bacon Pie actually. So much burst damage coming out from that junk rat. And now Schnarple's gonna hook in Reyes, and that's the point already for the Falcons. Oh my. That is a fantastic start. Oh my indeed. That everyone just working so good. Stevic on that Arisa, it's something we've seen him play so well. And with Bacon Pie on that junk ride, they were just bouncing people of the Green Knights all over. They couldn't really get settled. And like I said, this is an iffy point for the Farah, and you actually see that with the, already the changes coming out from the Green Knights. Right, and we see we see uh, Haru switching off that Farah into the Reaper. Just couldn't land any of the shots and really land, get that crucial damage to make that dive work. Right now, it looks like Reyes is going to get hooked in and goes down immediately to Linus. That's already a main tank down for, for the Green Knights. They need to pull out right now and just not give up any more ult charge. And that's what they'll be doing. Haru tried to uh, circle around, maybe find a pick off to even that, but with all five members of a team... Oh, another hook. Schnarfles, you monster. (laughs) He's been landing so many hooks today. This is big for the Falcons. Already 50% on the tick, and the Green Knights haven't been able to look at anything that looks like Haru's back to the Fara just can't make a decision here right and it looks like Monk's not gonna be pocketing him actually it's, uh, they're going to be running onto the point without without Monk Monk is very far behind and uh, this is a bit of a miscommunication I'm pretty sure right now uh, Reyes's barrier is gonna go down there's so much shield break on the side of the Falcons right now it's going to go for the charge but unable to get anything for it D-Boy is on some um, some pretty high energy actually with all the spam that's going on but he's just not building up his ultimate it's just the Rissa shield is just too strong Uh, Glitch is going to pick, pick out Reyes before, that's, uh, er, before that Earth Shatter is able to come out. But he's able to get the Sound Barrier out as well. <laughs> Lin is going to pull out that Death Blossom, taking down Haru in the middle of that Feral. And now that's going to be point one for the Falcons. Yeah, that was such insane. Reyes <clears throat> had the right idea. He went for the charge and the Earth Shatter, but he just went too far. I think he picked off Fruity Beams, but it doesn't matter when your main tank dies for it. And that just and that, felt, that didn't feel like the same Falcons team that, uh, you know, lost that map one. They pulled something out there. They, the adjustments were there. And like you said, they kind of went anti-dive and it, it worked. Yeah, it worked so well for them. Much better than it did for Eichenball point one. And now for this, for this map, uh, the, the temple, Farah is really good here. We'll have to see what Haro can do for, against this. Uh, and uh, actually, Steve is going to be switching over to their Orissa, and so it looks like both teams are going for. A... No, they've actually completely swapped their compositions. Now the Falcons are on a dive, whereas uh, the Green Knights are on to a counter dive. 
Yeah, it seems like with the knowing that this is a better Farah map, they might just want to get on top of Haru, not let anything happen, or they're just gonna kill Alex. Right, and Linus can get the pick onto Alex very quickly, and able to take on D Boy as well. So much pressure onto this uh, onto this backline, as as the as the Falcons are able to just jump in. Ray is going to get the hook and kill onto Linus, but Steven is going to take down Monk in return. Haru has no support now. Takes down Baconfly, but he's but as as I said, this point is just so good for Fair. So much room for for Haru just to peek around these corners, land a rocket here and there, and. Finally, get Glacier's gonna take him down. Just, still, this point is being contested despite being m maybe 30 seconds into into the match already. Ooh, Rest gonna go down onto Haru. <laughs> and then, now the, the Green Knights will finally take this point. Yeah, that was so strange. You know, the, the dive came in from the Falcons, like we were talking about, but they never found Haru. They went after D Boy, they went after Alex, and Haru got like three or four eliminations there just on his own, kind of hovering around the point. Right now, it looks like Steve, the team's going to be kind of drop diving into the side. So Hook's going to be landed on from Reyes, and he's going to pop that whole hog. Then it's going to deflect that uh, barrage, and then pop his own Dragon Blade, taking down both Haru and Monk. That's huge picks coming out from Linus. And now, it looks like the, the Falcons are going to be rushing this point. Uh, D-Boy going down to Schnarkles, and now it's just a just clean up at this point. Reyes holding on to the point for dear life. Somehow still alive, taking the breather. Just kind of one-on-one -on -one Steve Ek right now, and Steve going to take a lot of damage, but now he's going to be full. Reyes just going to... Is he going to jump off, or is he going to just try to... Yep, he's going to jump off. There we go. That felt like a late jump off, though, <clears throat> Roro, because I don't... I don't know that it's going to delay them a bit. They do have the lead. They do have some time, obviously sitting at 49% tick. But Reyes doesn't have all, you know, mentioned he used the whole hog in that last fight. So, and Haru also doesn't have Barrage. So this feels like a fight or two delay that's going to have to come out from the Green Knights. Well, we'll have to see what happens if that pays off. But if right now the Sunbury is going to come out. Sunbury's going to go off, but now Bacon Fly is going to get two kills with that Rip Tire, taking down D Boy and Nerdy. Nerdy's going to get rezzed by Monkey, but right now, or Monk, I'm, excuse me, Alex is going to take down Bacon Fly once again. But now, Pretty Me is going to get stuck again during that rez, getting a double kill with that Pulse Bomb for, uh, from Alex. Now, Nerdy's just going to be running around in his back line, going to get focused down perhaps. And yep, Steve is going to take him down. And now, Whole Hog coming out once again from Reyes, built it up so quickly. And now Monk's gonna be damage boosting that. Unable to get any kills for it, but it did force all of them off. Now Haru's gonna pop that barrage once again. Both of these people are building up all so fast. Haru's gonna have that barrage. Now Linus gonna pull out that Dragon Blade again, taking down D-Boy, and then Reyes actually able to kill off Fruity Memes in the middle of that Valkyrie. Such a huge, su su such, a, such a huge loss. And now Monk's gonna res D-Boy. Looks like the, the Green Knights will be stabilizing this point. Just Linus and Snarfle's actually going to run onto the point. Stalled it out for even longer. Getting an extra maybe 10% coming out from this already. Yeah, that might be key. Sitting on 80% before it ticks over. That fight just seemed like the difference between the two mercies there, really. Monk had some really good reses. He used it early, and I thought it was a mistake resing nerdy like that, but just stayed alive in the fight, allowing the two supports to do work. Meanwhile, Fruity Memes got stuck and kind of unintentionally took Lineth with him there. So switched over to the Moira, definitely his more comfort pick, and we'll have to see if they can go, because they really only got one, maybe two good fights left here, but here they go. Right, now Steve is going to dive in, he's going to pop that bubble in the middle, and now D-Boy is going to pop that Marissa ult, gets taken down very quickly by Schnarfels, and, and Schnarfels is able to take down D-Boy himself. The, the self-destruct going to come out, it's going to destroy that Arissa shield, but right now Monk's going to go for that res, takes, brings D-Boy back, and Haru's going to get a double kill with that barrage and finish off steve -Ek. and that's probably the, the, the map for the Green Knights. Yeah, this should be point two for the Green Knights, pushing us to that deciding point three. The key thing there in that fight for me, Roland, was Winneth went down immediately. His McCree did nothing in that fight at all. He, and so not having one DPS, much less their main DPS in Linneth, made the cleanup just pretty easy because Haru was never threatened. You don't have that McCree trying to kill the, the Farah. Right. 
And now we're going to move on to the Sanctum point. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited for this. Both of these teams have been running some pretty good Orisas, and now this is the Orisa map. The thing is, though, and we saw this the last time we saw Ludlow on this exact point, Glacier and environmental kills are synonymous in these playoffs. And oh, yep. If we want to see a map three, if we want to see Ludlow keep their season alive, it might come down to maybe a boop or two from Glacier. You never know. Right now, uh, Haru's gonna be on that Pharah once again, just extra boot potential, both teams otherwise completely mirrored. And now the Green Knights will be taking up the higher ground right now. No good, 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 uh... No good environmental kills just yet. Next step just now for Commentator's Curse, Reyes gonna get the hook on his Sharples, brings him into the pit. And now the, the Falcons will be pulling out. Yeah, that felt like a mistake to be grouped up like that against Haru. He got taken low, but he just got to free fire into the Falcons, and Glacier went down so fast. You lose that AoE healing from the Lucio, and when you lose AoE healing and are going against Afara, it's going to be very rough, but the Falcons are not taking a break. Right, now the Falcons are going to be rushing to point directly instead. Going to avoid the route that gets them killed. Alice going to get the kill on the Glacier with that Rip Tire. Right now, so many trades going on. Schnarple's getting the hook kill and onto D-Boy. But right now, it looks like the Green Knights will be pulling ahead. <laughs> but a nice boop coming out from Nerdy, but he will take Reyes with him. Yeah, that was interesting. Unfortunately, once again, another one of Falcon's supports got picked off early. Fruity memes died instantly, yeah, not on. having the Moira there to do damage. I'm it hadn't even him. built up a Coalescence yeah. yet on this point, which is so weird. Fruity memes has one of the fastest Coalescence charges so far this season, and the fact that we haven't seen anything from that Moira yet, and you're seeing a 50% tick, tells you how this point's gone. Right, now it looks like Haru's just gonna be raining death onto them. Alex is gonna take down Lineth. That means Haru's just gonna have an even more field day. Sharple's gonna pop that whole hog, pushing the rest of the Green Knights off, but he's unable to get any kills for it. Sharple's gonna take down Reyes actually with that, with the very last of his whole hog. But now Haru's gonna kill Bacon Pie. He gets, gets taken down by Glacier for that. Just uh, such a vulnerable ultimate in that barrage. And uh, Lineth's gonna be popping that attack visor. Gonna force, force uh, Monk over to the side. But unable to get much value out of this attack visor, actually. Bacon Pie instead will get the double kill onto the back line of the Green Knights. Yeah, and the Green Knights have to try and keep this. It looks like they might know the points lost. They're trying to just defend. It's actually already ticked over 33%. It ticked in the middle of that fight, Roar. They went off of the point for so long. It's already at 40% tick. When the heck did the Falcons manage to cap that? I think it was during Sharple's whole hog, actually. He pushed everyone off and they were able to cap. That's so big for the Falcons. Now they're almost tied in percentage and they just oh. want to fight. <laughs> what a hook! Joel's D-Boy from almost behind the shield. Riptire's gonna come out from from Alex. He's just kind of sitting around. He's gonna flank around the left. Is it gonna get anyone? Is it gonna get Glacier? Oh, it takes down Glacier! <laughs> Oh no! Right now, uh, it looks like D-Boy's gonna be rushing back from the point right now, so it's 5v5. No main tank for the Green Knights right now, but so much pressure going on onto, the, onto this uh, onto this front line for the Falcons. Coalesce is coming out from Fruity Memes, but Whole Hog's coming out from both sides. So much so much crowd control. Glacier's gonna pop that sound barrier just to keep the rest of his team up. Reyes got going to land that hook, but Haru's just going ham on his back line right now, forcing Lineth away on that soldier. Coalesce is gonna come out from Monk. And it's just gonna keep the rest of his team alive. And now Reyes will take down Lineth. No more pressure onto onto Haru. And he's gonna land that barrage onto Sharples. Yeah, but they're buying so much time. Glacier's still alive. He finally dropped. They're gonna force overtime before this point kicks over. That was such a good just kind of stall from Glacier and from Bacon Pie there. That yes, Lineth goes down. He's actually onto the far himself now. He's said enough of this, Haru. I can match you. Right, and Lydith has just been having so much pressure on him, like, Haru has had way too much space in this game, so I, 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 I bet they figured that they just need to just run it better than they are. Reptar is going to come out from Alex once again, it's going to flank around to right, Schnarfels will not be able to hook it, but Lydith does land a sick direct onto the Reptar, let's see what they can do with this, Rissa ult coming out from Stevix, and... 
Glacier's gonna pop that sound barrier once again. He's been getting so many sound barriers. Thanks, or no, that was that was not sound sound barrier from uh, Glacier, but Nerdy. Bacon Pie's gonna pop that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Nerdy's gonna take Nerdy and Ray is taken down by that rip tire, and Linnet's gonna take down Monk and Alex. Gonna clean up this point. Right now it's just Haru on that Pharaoh. So let's see. Let's see if he land a good direct. And he does. This is actually an issue. Overtime is ticking down, and now they're having to switch. Haru's still dead. Overtime's gonna tick. The Falcons did it. Yep. <laughs> Such a good boop, keeping Reyes off the point. Uh, no more, no more contesting for you, Green Knights. The zone control from both, and Lineth, he switches to Pharaoh for the end and gets this, and to be fair, this was an amazing play from Lineth. It really set up this chance, the double kill from Bacon Pie on that thing, and this was just the fight that won them the, the map, it's plain and simple. Right. Oh, that, that was actually sick from Lineth. He landed so many good directs because as soon as he switched, he landed direct on the Rip Tire, like a couple just now and I play the game, then takes down Haru at the end. Stevik had 21 objective kills in that oh map. My. That is absurd from an Orisa player. Much <laughs> less, you know, a, a tank, much less he was playing Orisa. He went off on that map, and that is what the Falcons have to do. The team has to come together to take out Alex, take out Haru, because otherwise the Green Knights have some really strong players, but this is awesome. We get map three. Yep, and map three will be Route 66. We'll have to see if there's any good Widow action oh, coming boy. up. Alex with that, those sight lines. Yep, I do believe Alex is the Widow main for the Green Knights, whereas I don't think there's a Widow main on the Falcons. We'll see if they can just hunker down behind that Orisa shield. It's better. Yeah, so with the we saw some adaptation from the Falcons in map two there. Aurora, what do the Green Knights now need to do besides just put Alex on Widow for this map? No, I'm not sure because the, the Falcons have just been running such a good counter dive. We saw it work just now on point one for Nepal, and I think they're they might be a little afraid to try to run that again. Because yeah, first point on Route 66, that's that's a great place to just hold the gas station counter dive. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. If they can pull the counter dive out, it's gonna be tough. But at the same time, obviously there's 30 seconds left, so. You can't put too much faith into what we're seeing from the team comps now, but it's already Alex insta clicked on that widow. All right, and and uh, in case you didn't know, make sure you type in chat exclamation point MVP just to vote for your M for MVP of this match. Yeah, that MVP vote is still ongoing. That's some good players in that vote. Lineth, if he can carry his team to a finals appearance after being in the very first match of this playoffs, uh, looks like we are going to see the Falcons on the attack first. So it's going to be a defense widow to start off here from Alex. All right. And we do have counter dive coming out from the Falcons. Oh, no, sorry, the Green Knights. Whereas Lineth's going to troll me again on that Smetra. Schmarfle's going to be on the Widow, actually, looks like. We'll see. Uh, attackers in I don't trust the Falcons. Until we hit five seconds, <laughs> I do not trust the Falcons' composition. So. That's fair enough. Uh, do, we do still see Lineth on that Smetra. They're, they're making it so hard for us to just do our job. It looks like he's going over to the Reaper, actually. Orissa Bastion Reaper. Hmm. Okay, it looks like they're just gonna pirate ship this. I... yeah, Schnarf is <laughs> yeah, <going>. pirate ship. <laughs> With that Reinhardt, it's definitely two, a pirate ship. One. All of Attack the shields incoming. for Glacier. Just all of them. I don't, I don't know what, what the, the Green Knights can do against this, actually. This is, this is way too much shields and way too much damage. Besides just running in and diving it. But uh, even then, will they even have enough damage? Well, they're going to find out now as they make the turn. They're going to see what they're up against, and this could be a very important fight for both teams. The Green Knights are actually just kind of giving gas station. They know they're in trouble. Right, and looks like they're at a bit of a loss of what to do. They're waiting for Alex to get a pick, but otherwise, they're just not running in right now. They're just going to keep poking at the shield and not and lose the shield war, pretty much. Now, Reyes is going to throw out... Or no, excuse me, uh... 
Looks like uh, they're just not going to contest the point yet. Har Haru's going to run it forward a little bit, but he just can't do anything with that Bastion damage. Steve is going to take down Haru after Glacier does so much damage to him. Deep was finally going to take down uh, Glacier, and Husky oh, has a nice pick on the Fruity Memes, actually. He's just going to loop around all the way to the back. Oh my gosh, they're just going to collapse on... They, they just, the Falcons just completely destroyed that, you know, uh, the, that offensive from the Green Knights. Yeah, like you said, the Green Knights defense just seemed at a loss, and when they finally were like, we just have to go in, uh, like you said, D-Boy killed Glacier, but the, the Bastion did his job, he's now switched over to Lucio, they no longer need the Bastion to get past the gas station, they can go back to Standard, and Reyes has switched over to D.Va, and we actually see Alex switching to Reaper as well, so both teams making changes. Right, and I do agree with the river pick. Uh, there is triple tank coming out from the Falcons right now. A good hook onto Haru. He's going to die to Linneth. Good reaper pick, actually. Now they're sitting on on a uh, death blossom and a coalescence right now. The supercharger coming out from Rissa, and Reyes will get demex as he just runs into the backline, dies in the middle of his ultimate. You don't want to see that. But now Linneth or Alex is going to run into his backline himself. Going to try to bully uh, Sharples on that Roadhog. Or, uh, big fly on that Roadhog. But now D-Boy's gonna get the pick onto Steve X with that Rip Tire. Alex finally taking that bacon pie in the background, but in, in return, the Falcons get two picks on the Monk and Reyes. So much damage going on at this point. D Boy is landing so much damage. You're landing so many grenades right now. And now it looks like the Green Knights will be able to hold this. Yeah, it looks like they finally stopped the push from the Falcons. 70 meters into the second point. It's so close. You can see it. But like you said, the rip tire from D Boy catching out Stevic. He's actually switched over to the Winston. No longer needs the Arisa shielding. Maybe, and we actually Lineth onto a Fara, so they're looking to go high and right. beat the Green Knights at their own game. And that makes a lot of sense to me. They, right now, the Green Knights don't have a main shield. A shield. The Fara is just gonna rain death onto Monk, pretty much, and that's all you need. You take down the Zenyatta, and the rest of the team just kind of falls apart. Right now, the Monk's gonna pop that Transcendence. Coalescence also coming out from Nerdy. That's a double ultimate. Haru also gonna pop that Whole Hog. That's almost every ultimate in in the reserves of the Green Knights right now, besides Alex's Death Blossom, which I don't think can do very much against this dive. Yeah, and Snarfles needs to just kind of find a way to die. They're staggering him <laughs> quite nicely there at the end. Baby Diva so hard to do anything with and the thing to point out there is Lineth wasn't there for that fight the four members of the Falcons went in without the pharmacy behind them raining that damage like you were saying and the fact that the Falcons have switched off so much they don't really have ult charges you know Stevic has only been on Winston for one fight that's not stopping them they're going right in again Right, now Monk's gonna take down Stivic. Uh, it's a very good peel coming out from the Green Knights, actually. Able to take down the, the Soul soul Diver. Alex is gonna take down Fruity Mies and Stivic at the same time. Reyes is gonna take down Lineth, doing a good job diving that Pharaoh once the once, uh, once uh, Fruity Memes uh, finally died. Yeah, and this is starting to get a bit shades of the first map, because the dive and the... Decisions here by the Falcons just aren't working in their favor. You know, they're not on the same page with some of these attempts. And the Green Knights, as you said, are peeling wonderfully. Reyes is doing a great job. And uh, Alex is being just kind of self peel for himself on that Reaper right now. Has the Death Blossom as well. Lineth has switched again to Genji. Oh boy. Oof. Now that uh, self destruct will be taking down Sharple's mech. It's just gonna be running around in that uh, to the little power station right there. Bacon Buy is gonna pop that and rip tire. It's gonna run around. Hopefully, he's able to get a kill from it. Oh, and Reyes will take it down with the last bit of health. And now Alex is gonna run in. Die to Bacon Pie, actually, unfortunate. But it's okay. Right now, both teams just are going to reset at the same time. Yeah, and this is starting to get a little scary for the Falcons. The ult charge is in favor of the Green Knights. The cart has moved so far back. All that work that they got in the second point is almost done. Just because they haven't been able to push the cart for the last three minutes, and they're finally trying to make them go, and the Transcendent just can counter them. Right, and that was a very good dive coming out from the Falcons, actually. Monk just, had, just popped that Transcendence, and now suddenly it was all undone. Glacier's just going to pop that sound barrier. The one defensive ult, and the self-destruct's going to come out for Sharples. 
Alice is going to zone them off the payload, I guess, but not getting much for it overall. Alice is going to flank around the back. She's going to get stuffed by Bacon Fies, so he has to run away. And right now, the cart is moving very healthily. Steve X is going to take that high ground, try to put a lot of pressure onto the Green Knights. But right now, the, the Green Knights need to figure out how they're going to recontest this. Right? Oh, Alice going to get the death blossom off the limit in the middle of that dragon blade takes down nerdy but it's okay right now deep boy is going to pop that uh, attack visor takes down fruity means in the middle of that coalescence and it gets a triple kill actually Full qu qu quadruple kill for that last contest d boy you are a beast oh my yeah with only 15 seconds left like you said this feels like the last contest they got so close it almost looked like the green knights were just going to give them point two and look to regroup at point three but then of all people, Schnarfle's got hooked, and when this is going in, they're just gonna try and contest this in overtime. Right now, oh, Bacon Fi's gonna get a double kill with that Rip Tire. It's such a good Rip Tire. Schnarfle's gonna take that Haru in the meantime. It's, oh, you don't wanna see that. This, the, they were holding so well for the second point, and then they just get dismantled by that Rip Tire. Yeah, I, like you said, Bacon Fi, he died for it, but that Rip Tire allowed them to get this point. A minute and a half is very difficult to actually complete this third point. But having two points can make your defense feel a little easier than what it would have been trying to have to hold. Right, and Linz is going to be switching over to the Genji once again. Uh, well, let's just hope that he doesn't blade in the middle of uh, an ulting Reaper this time. Actually, they don't have Reaper anymore, so he doesn't have that to worry about. Right now, he's going to 1v1 that Soldier. He's going to take down D-Boy, and that's a huge pick already. Soldier was on the high ground. Uh, self destruct coming out, taking down Nerdy, and it's going... To it's going to these. Uh, just, uh, oh my gosh, this is just so heavily favored for the, the Falcons right now. They've turned this point around so well. Linda taking down two already. Haru and Monk going down. It's right. getting three kills this last fight already. Yeah, and this is why Linda's Genji is so scary. They're just pushing in. And it, it is thing something to note. Ray has completely missed the self destruct, went over the top of them. Haru just trying to use the whole hog, the transcendence, but they're falling like flies right now. Lineth, what are you doing? Yeah, these people have families. Lineth, stop! Lineth, stop! Oh my god. Yeah, it's contested. 10 seconds remaining. They're probably going to force them overtime. Maybe. It's literally contested at overtime. They're going to. They should be able to complete this, though. It's just buying time, all it takes. And. I didn't anticipate it, but the Falcons complete their attack. Yep. I mean, they rolled that first point pretty well, and then they rolled the third point. Just looks like they just need to work on their street space, if anything. <laughs> or I think we found the answer, Aurora. Just uh, put Lineth on Genji. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> he fed a little bit with that dragon blade in the uh, fight for the second, uh, second last fight in the. In the straight phase, actually, I'll, I'll forgive him for that because he destroyed that third phase. But right now, I, yeah. we're not going to see that Genji. We're going to see a McCree coming out. I would be a little surprised on Genji uh, defense. That would be very aggressive. I think the McCree definitely fits a lot better. And this is actually an interesting comp. We've seen Glacier go onto things like the Ana a few times. This tells me that they are Everything just going to want to set up somewhere, probably on gas mind. station to start and try and hold that for as long as they can. Doesn't feel right. All right and no defensive ults for the Falcons, but honestly, a good somber hack onto Haru or something, that's probably going to be enough. Just, just Hello. You know hack right him now. in the middle of his Dragon Blade, what are you going to do? Just swing at air? <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. You know, 30 seconds, they can always change up their comp. Um, but right now, it is just looking like a dive coming out, like heavy dive from the Green Knights. You see that Tracer, you see that Genji, and then having the tanks as your Winston and your D.Va. Yes, the setup from the Falcons is nice, but against the dive, they don't really have a really great anti-dive right now. Uh, I mean, they do have the Hog and the McCree right now. Anna, Anna's honestly very good against uh, Three, relatively speaking, two, she can defend herself pretty one. well, just Attack lack of self-healing, but pretty mean should be able to peel enough to heal the Ana up. The yeah, we'll see. They're setting up at the corner. They have the shielding. We're about to see, and again, does oh. the Green Knight. 
<laughs> the hog of Ristakava never gets old. Right now, D-Boy's gonna be hopping onto the gas station. He's gonna hop right back down, but Reyes did not get the memo. He's still on there, he's gonna get D-Max. Now a great hook coming out. <laughs> oh my, Schnarfel's gonna get the hook onto Haru, and then Lineth will finish him off. It's a great counter dive. I, I, I don't... Yep. <laughs> yep, that's all you can really <laughs> yep, This turned out exactly as I thought. Yeah, Snapple's gonna just sit down in front of whoever, hook them, and then Bacon Pie's gonna land a good hack, whatever, and then they just can't do anything right now. Yeah, Fruity Memes is already at that Valkyrie as well. Lineth almost at his dead eye, and Bacon Pie went down in that fight, but you wouldn't know it because there's a mercy. <laughs> Just a, just a little bit of salt there, Vic. <laughs> no, I'm a mercy player. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, okay. Right now, okay. Okay, so Steve X gonna pop that uh, halt, but unable to defend himself against Alex. Pulse bomb. High news coming out, but he will get taken down as well. Oh, this is this is where the, the counter die falls apart. They were so spread apart, and then the uh, pulse bomb going around. Alex actually just made them split apart so hard. Schnaffle's gonna pop that whole hog, and gonna get taken down by Reyes. Now the Green Knights will be rolling this payload. Yeah, not quite as fast as we saw the Falcons. Uh, would have been hard to beat that, but like you said, they were so spread out. And Fruity Meme switching over to his Moira now. Lena, you can't you can't tie Noon in front of a uh, Genji there. So uh, he learned that one the hard way. Mm -hmm. Uh, do we see any switches? I don't think we. Oh, Fruity Mean's gonna switch over to the Moira actually. Comfort pick, as you said. Glacier's gonna be staying on that Nano. I wonder who he's gonna give it to. He could give it to Lineth for one shot headshots on Squishies. Now, Alex yeah. sticking there on the back line right now. He's gonna. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna go for anything cheeky. Haru's gonna be anti healed, but he does deflect Lineth's. Uh, Flashbang. Right now, it looks like the supercharge is going to come out from Sten. And a nice stick coming out from Alex is going to go on to Lineth. The, the, the hack's going to come out from Bacon Pie. But unfortunately, the rest of the Green Knights are on the payload. And Glacier has chosen his target. Schnarples will be receiving the nano boost. Right now, he's going to be running around. Can't find any targets at the moment, but the Green Knights have pulled away. Well, except for Nerdy, who uh, unfortunately oh. found his end, and that should stop the Green Knight from trying anything. Like you said, Snarfle has got the nano boost. It looked good, and then the Green Knights did what they did so well on the defense is they peeled back. They didn't let him find anything, and we still have Haru flanking. <laughs> well, Haru was was discovered by Bacon Pie, so that will be out of the way at the, for the time being. Alex gonna be in the back line once again. The great dive coming out from D-Boy. He's gonna pop that Primal Rage. Oh, the High Noon's coming out. But Haru's gonna take down Lineth in the middle of High Noon once again. Haru's gonna take down Steve Egg as well. What a great dive coming out from the, from the Green Knights. Able to finish off a lot of people. It feels a little bit like deja vu. We just saw this on point one where they went for the dive. Lin is trying to set up for the high noon, so he split a little bit. And then there's a Genji in his face. And now there's five ultimates from the Green Knights. And we're finally starting to see some switches coming, some adaptations. Glacier is now on to his Lucio. Lineth is on to the Reaper. So no more high noons. Oh, and, oh no! He gets a stick onto Schnarples in the middle of his vape. Right now, Haru's gonna get hooked in by Schnar. <laughs> Haru's gonna get hooked in by Schnarples in the middle of that dragon vape. That's huge. But Monk's gonna take down Schnarples in revenge. Linda takes down D Boy on that Reaper. He did switch back to the Reaper, uh, and Snurby's gonna be popping that Coal Essence. Not able to. I don't think any kills out of it, but Monk is going off right now, taking out Stevek and Lineth. And will he get a third? No, Alex will steal that kill from Monk. Yeah, and they're continuing to go in here. This feels like just trying to hold, trying to force time away. You know, they're si they still have two minutes. It may have been a slower point one, but it's been a fantastic streets phase from the Green Knights. Is they're going to push through with still two minutes on the clock. <laughs> oh, and that, that was such a great stall coming out from Lineth. He just... Uh... Wraith as soon as Sharples died on that Roadhog. And that was that was actually a very good stalk on Marvel Rockets. Just running in one at a time, using their most annoying abilities for their longevity. Now they can reset. Three minutes left on the clock. That's very doable.
Yeah, like you said, very doable. We saw the Falcons just do it themselves with a minute and a half. So nearly double that time. And Haru's been having such a good game on this Genji so far. Almost at another Dragon Blade. And we're going to see how the, how the ults come here. So they're going to fight early. Oh, 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 oh does the self-destruction go down on the bacon fight? Right now, Haru is going to be popping that Dragon Blade. Not able to get anything yet. Glacier's going to finally go down to it. But now, Death Blossom coming out from Linneth. Oh, half of it gets eaten up by Reyes. But then able to get nerdy at the very end of it. And Stevek will go down eventually. Right now, the Green Knights doing very well for this first points. Or for yeah, the first part of this third points. They had to use a lot of their ultimates, but Haru used his Dragon Blade just to chase down Glacier and make sure his life was hell. And the Green Knights are going for it. They're not going to stop. Right, and Bacon Pie has been sitting on this uh, Sombral for quite a bit now. They need to get value out of it, but it looks like they need to fight without it. Coles is coming out from Fruity Memes. Steve Ek is going to be in the back line. Linnet getting two picks with that with that swift strike. And Bacon Pie will finally pop that ultimate. Linnet getting a third. Fourth! He gets four kills in that final fight. And now they will be able to contest. Yeah, they definitely have to try and set up a defense here because with a minute and 40 to go still with so little between the Green Knights and this final completion, it's going to be a titanic defense that has to come out from the Falcons to make this work. Nerdy's going to pop that whole essence and Haru's going to be jumping over to the left onto the health pack. Bacon Pie has hacked it, so there's just going to be a lack of resources oh, right no. there. Haru pulling out the Dragon Blade, but the Fade coming out. And Glacier taking so much damage, he's going to go down to the drag. Reyes taking down Bacon Pie, and oh, Monk going to take down Fruity Memes. And there's, there's just so much going on at this point that the Green Knights are coordinating so well. The May pick's going to come out from Linus, just the last second stall. But right now, the Bacon Pie is going to be invisible on the point. Reyes taking down Glacier, gets booped away from the cover of the payload. Schmarkle's going to run onto the point right now. Able to stay on the point for just that much longer. Stevek did pop his power rage in the last fight. Not going to be able to stall for much longer. Then D-Boy getting two picks right now. And a great stall once again coming out from a Valkyrie. This fight started 30 seconds ago. And now they have a minute 30 left on the clock. Yeah, that was pretty much what the Falcons had to try and do to hold this. Because they stalled about 20 seconds there at the end just running in and so we'll just have to see 36 seconds isn't the biggest advantage uh especially when we saw the differences between the point ones was about 30 maybe even 40 seconds the falcons took that so fast the first time right i just want to see both of them run bastion for this <laughs> Right I, 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 I think it worked. <laughs> there's Glacier on the Bastion, except there's there, it looks like they're probably going to run dive. At... Actually, no, Steve X seems to have been convinced to. <laughs> I'm saying there's still 40 seconds. This is the Falcons. I don't trust anything I'm seeing yet. <laughs> well, I, I'm sure the Green Knights have caught on and they know that they need to have some kind of shield break. And we have D Boy on the Junkrats, Reyes on the Roadhog. Harvey's going to be on the Sombra, actually. I, I do agree with this a lot. They, they're going to need to hack it. Hack the hack the shields, hack the Bastion if they want to deal with this. Yeah, I find it interesting that Alex is the one on the Orisa. Not really uh, something we've seen from him this map, or this match at all. And it looks like Lineth might be the one moving on to that Bastion this time around. It's going to be not Glacier, instead going for the double support. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's, it's pretty interesting though. Mon Monk is actually on the Zenyatta. They're running Zenyatta Moira for this defense. I'm not sure how much healing they can really output. They, they will be kind of close together, but Monk is in the back. Stop right there. Yeah, and I think they're around just the corner. Find if they were running Bastion again with Haru to start. But again, this is already a good 30 second push. Haru's trying to come around from the back. Right, and he does... Did he get a hack down? I don't think he did, actually. Oh, oh, oh Monk's gonna get a nice pick on the Steve Ek. The Red's gonna come out. But right now, they're not set up on the payload, which is where they need to be. The bash, the, the hack's gonna go down um, onto the Orisa, actually. They're not unable to put the, sh the shield down for Lineth. Lineth's gonna get taken down. Now he needs to run back from point because they used the Rez on the Steve Ek. And, oh my... The... Oh! <laughs> 
Riptar's gonna come out from D-Boy, taking down Fruity Memes. That's that's gonna be a nice hold coming out from the Falcons. Yeah, and we actually see Linneth, he switched over to the Genji, and that looked worked really well. Is they're gonna be able to continue oh my this push? <laughs> oh no, wait, the Falcons are on the offense right now. I'm sorry, I, I make, mixed up the names. But right now, they're, they're gonna reach the end of this payload, the end of this first point if they don't come back fast enough. They they switched over to the win Alex switching over to the Winston. Uh, he's gonna dive into a Reaper for his troubles. Coalescence is gonna come out from Glacier, but gonna come out instead, and they step off the payload. Uh, unfortunate from the Falcons, but that attack kind of felt destined to fail at the very end anyway. The EMP came out from Haru, and he was just ready uh, to win the fight. And with Bacon Pie falling that quickly, Lineth was in a very difficult situation being pretty much a one DPS Genji. But 80 meters, when they looked like they were stalled at about 30, is still a very nice minute push. Now, the question is, can the defense do it right and we oh d boys has left the game um we're gonna take a quick break while we figure out what happened And we're back. Unfortunately, Devoy uh, had a had a technical issue, but right now it looks like they're going to be running the dive. The, the, the Green Knights running their Haru's going to be on that Genji once again. Alex on the tracer. Ooh, Let's see what they can do. This is aggressive from the Falcons. Ooh. This is cheeky. If it works, that's a solid thirty seconds for them, and then Th this <laughs> is their season. Th there is no question. If this works, this is possibly the map win. If it fails, this is probably a pretty quick push to that eighty meters. Well, they can definitely recontest by the end of the first point. I, I actually agree with this. This is this has Five, so much more reward four, than risk. Three, two, oh man, I don't one, know if the Green Knights are ready for this. I don't think they're going to be expecting this. They're going to go so far past. He walked into <laughs> it. Oh, he walked right into it. Steve X is going to be popping down shield down right now. Uh, Starbucks going to be in the back line. Alex needs to dive into. The and D Boy, is just, it's just such a frenzy on point right now. Muck got caught in the trap, but nobody's gonna die. The Bacon Pie taking down D Boy with the concussive line. Finally, he's gonna land a nice hook on the Reyes and D Mech him. Oh, the Falcons gonna do some work with that early hold. Yeah, and we'll have to see. The DPS is still up, so we might see the Green Knights try for something. But like you said, that's a 36 second where the, it went. Five meters. That's so big for the Falcons. And if they can do something like that again, this might be their map in their match. Right, and Haru's gonna be jumping to the back. He's gonna get oh. sucked in. Uh, pretty memes. Gonna, oh my gosh, Lineth, you beast. He's gonna take down Nerdy in the back. He's gonna take that Haru down to Monk, but that's okay. He got two for one. And now they're going to contest. <laughs> oh wait, D Boy and Alex are gonna be jumping into the back line in, in response. Right now, both teams down so many members, but. Right now we have Steve and Starbucks just holding down the front line. Oh, the, the pulse bomb gets stuck on that shield, but it does go down. Reyes taking down Steve with that self-destruct at the very, very end of that shield's life. Yeah, but Haru's down to the rip tire, so one of their things is down, and we might see the Green Knights. They're going to have to really push this. They're going to be in overtime, and there's still 40 seconds. Uh, someone needs right. to be on the point, by the way. Glacier's just playing defense. Oh, Glacier's just going to be contesting the point this entire time. Starple's going to go down in the middle of his hold hog, but it's okay. Haru's going to pop that Dragon Blade. He's going to take down Glacier, finally. Taking down Bacon Pie as well, and now Nerdy Memes is gonna, uh, Fruity Memes is going to go down. Oh no. I don't know if the Falcons can hold this. Lineth fell to a pulse bomb. Alex got the pick. 
This oh. is. I don't think they can get back. Oh, Stevix, only one on points, gonna get melted down. <laughs> he might have met Call down nonetheless. <laughs> Coalesce is gonna melt down Schnarfold as well. Glacier's trying to do some Lucio stuff, and it's gonna finally go down to Reyes. And oh no. Primal Rage to come out from D-Boy. Stop! He's gonna knock Lineth away! No value except for taking down the Alex! But it's it's just too much! Lineth, no! They're just run back and <laughs> with the last ditch effort on the Winston. He's gonna build up a quarter of his all charge. He's gonna He's still not being focused down yet. Finally down. Schnarf. This is such a long hold coming out from the Falcons. I'm so impressed by their stall. But they're not getting any picks right now. There's too many shields, too many barriers, and too much healing. Yeah, the issue would be if they could get picks, they have the slightly closer spawn, but they're just all falling. And it's it's been such a great hold. They're seasoned. They know it. But oh, in no. the end, it is going to be the Green Knights taking map three. A heroic attempt from the Falcons, but it fell short. Play of the game. Oh, Linus, you deserve this. This is point three. This has to be point three. Yep. Surrender to my will. <laughs> oh man, this was just unnecessary from Linus. It felt like because they, this is what kept them in that map as long as it did. And man, I can't get over that how that. Ended. That was such a good attempt from the Falcons. They almost pulled it off. Almost pulled off really the comeback because they looked defeated after map one. Yeah, and it's, they were able to pull it together so well and I I think they just needed to warm up or something. That was that was that was a great series overall. Yeah, absolutely. It'll be exciting to see the Green Knights heading into the finals, but it was a great series. That was a lot of fun. And thank you guys for tuning in. This was the first semifinal with the Notre Dame Green Knights taking the victory over the Ludlow Falcons in a very intense 2-1. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, it will be the Northwestern Regional Highlanders taking on the Woodstock Academy Centaurs to see who will be joining the Green Knights at UConn for the finals. Before we head to break, I would like to thank, thank our sponsors, the Yukon Gaming Club, the Yukon School of Engineering, HyperX, and Controller Chaos for making this series possible. And guys, we saw a couple of those MVP candidates playing in this series, so be sure to type exclamation point MVP so you can get your vote in for the season MVP. Once again, my name is Victor Vic Sharp Watney, and you can find me at the Vic Sharp. All right, and I am Roar Roar, and you can find me at Roar underscore one. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you soon.